Hey friends, it's Brian and it's time for another Jeep video. So today what I'm going to work on is getting the brake line underneath the steering column. Um, when the body shop or frame shop did their tragic magic, um, they left this out and it needs to be up underneath here. So I'm going to take this apart and see if I can make that happen and uh, we'll just see how irritating this is and how it goes. Let's see what we get. Support has to come loose, and these are fixed. So let me uh, grab something to stick these in. doesn't work we'll switch over to something else Let's see if this is close enough. No. 
just a little corrosion. So maybe I don't have to take the damn thing off. Oh, yeah, I do. This won't come off. Um, okay, I think I see it. Apparently, this has to come all the way out. Okay. And it has a flat side. So that's roughly going to get this back in into where it belongs. That's roughly appropriate. I mean, that's that's where that goes. So, To trust anything on a Jeep not to rattle loose, so I'm going to add thread locker to everything.
So I'm going to use the uh, impact ratchet just to just to drive it home. Um, these all need to be torqued, so I need to go look the torque settings up. find out what the torque settings are and I'll be right back. Okay, so these small bolts are 45 pounds, or 45 foot-pounds according to the uh, shop manual and they actually have an 8 stamped in them and these have a 10 stamped in them and that, that gives you your uh, coating. So I've got my trusty dusty imported torque wrench. I don't fully trust this, so I'm double checking it. I think that's enough. Okay, so let's switch uh, sizes. And then uh, These should be 58 foot-pounds. Gonna be good enough.
that one's good to go. So one of the things you need to do is measure the bolts um, to figure out the torque reading. So this one's stamped 10.9. And then it's a 10 millimeter bolt, so it's going to be 58 foot pounds of torque. And this is the spring retainer, and unfortunately, it is damaged. It's uh, melted, so I'm going to have to order another one of these. Uh, the body shop should have really taken this out when they did their their tragic uh, repair. So. I'm gonna stop, I need this piece and I need this piece because they're both melted and um, that makes them unserviceable.